Hey guys, it's Ryan, the uh, Tokyo Fun Hunter. Uh, I just got a question from a friend of mine, basically, what to do when you're finally just, you, you just moved, you just got to Japan. Say so you just got here, how do you get set up? And that's a, that's a great question. No worries. <clears throat> and to answer that, okay, I'll, I'll let you know kind of what I did. Um, when I first came to Japan, to be honest, I did not have a visa. I was under the radar. Uh, you know, don't tell everybody, but you know, I, I, I got a visa, so don't worry about that. I was at first on the temporary visa, had it transfer to a, a Japanese visa. Actually, I, I should say, first I was on the temporary visa, and then I left and I, I, I moved to Taiwan, and I lived there for about six months, and then I came back with a full visa. And uh, the first thing you gotta do is housing. You gotta get a place to stay to put on your records. Um, and when you, when you first come into Japan, they're gonna ask you, uh, what is your address? And you can put your friend's address or anything like that as long as it is an actual address. So the first thing is to find housing. Now there's a lot of different sources. You could go through the Sakura House system. Um, I'm not really a big fan of theirs, but if you need a place to stay, you know, hey, might as well go for it. <clears throat> there's tons of places on Craigslist. Uh, you know, you can check out housing with them. I would recommend going with the Share House system, get a bunch of friends together, go together with the realtor, find a great place, and move into you know a place of your choosing. It's a much better way to go. Um, <clears throat> another thing is second thing is you got to set up your bank account. Now you know when I went through this process, it, it was very you know kind of I was a little I felt a little weird being white because every time I go back, I would get just no credit cards, no credit cards, no cards, no accounts. You can't have an account. It was like I went to all the different banks and they would just wouldn't let me. And I was asking why, and actually, it's, you know, they just, with foreigners, they come and go, and they just don't know how much they're going to stay here. I would recommend going to Yucho Ginko, which means the JP Post bank account. You know, the, the, I'm talking about the big Japanese postal service. You go to them, and you can set up a <clears throat> immediate bank account. You know, that's where I get all my, you know, incomes from various sources. I get it delivered right into my JP bank account. They give you a card. <clears throat> it's a much better way to go, and all foreigners can really do it. It's a, it's 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 very easy. Um, you get a you get a cash book and a cash card. Very easy to use at ATMs. It's it's not a debit card. You can't use it at restaurants. And usually in this society, you don't use credit cards or debit cards that much. It's pretty much a cash society only. So it's a great way to just you know that's an easy way to set up an account. The other ways are you got to get your insurance ready. You go to your national branch, you go to your, your branch office, and every every city has one. You can just look on the internet, you can just Google, you know, if you're in, you know, Nakano, go Nakano branch office, and they'll give you the address. And you just go in there and you register. They're very friendly, they're very easy. You got to set up your alien registration card, which you do at the head office, and you need to register an insurance card, national insurance. It's super cheap. You know, I, I was only paying about 4,000 yen a month, which is about 40 bucks a month just on health insurance. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a really good system. Um, make sure you're doing that. Uh, another good thing, okay, so a lot of people ask, like, well, I got to get set up with a cell phone. And to be honest, um, I've never used a smartphone. I've always used the prepaid phone service, and it's a much cheaper route to go. I'm only paying about 3,000 yen a month. Uh, you know, if you're paying the, if you're getting the iPhone thing, the smartphone thing, you'll be paying about maybe 5,000 to 8,000 yen a month, which is basically 50 to $80 a month. So if you go prepaid phone, that just covers your, your text messaging, your, your phone calls. I would recommend doing that. I, I've never really needed to use smartphones. I mean, I still have my computer obviously, and I can just do stuff with that. Plus it's like, you know, it helps me focus. I'm not responding all the time with text messages. Um, I just use a prepaid phone. It's a great way to save money, and it's a good way to get set up. And you can do that anywhere, at SoftBank, at AU. All the different stores really carry them. I use SoftBank personally. I think that's a great service. It's the one that I use. Um, uh, basically, where you are. Also, get a bicycle. Getting a bicycle is going to help you really um, go through transportation. You're going to save a lot of money on, on public transportation. Instead of using buses or trains, use a bike. It also helps you get in shape. It's a really good route to go, so I would get help set up with a bike. Um, when you first move into your apartment, you know, take a walk around, go outside and check out what are the the coffee shops, the restaurants, the supermarkets, the postal areas. What are some of the things you can do 
to start getting in the routine of really adjusting and living in Japan and maximizing your lifestyle. You know, for example, like I, there's a park near my place that I like to go running and do some workouts in. I have a rooftop on my house where I like to do barbecues and stuff with friends, starting to implement kind of that lifestyle choice. Um, some other ways to, when you first get into Japan, how to get set up. Uh, for forming a social lifestyle, I would recommend if you're brand new and you don't know anybody, you know, if you have friends, have them introduce you to your friends. But if you know, don't know anybody, um, there's a few things I recommend to start getting set up for the social lifestyle. One is go to meetup.com. Meetup.com and just go and look at the Tokyo different social circles. It's a really great way to meet other people who don't know many, many other people and they're meeting up and you make instant friends. It's a very good way. There's cooking courses, martial arts, you know, just meet up over drinks. It's a good way to go. Um, another one is go on to Craigslist and actually just platonically say like, hey, I'm looking for a language exchange partner. You know, you'll get tons of people basically saying, you know, it's up to you if you want to go with, you know, if you prefer a male or female. But it's a good way to just start meeting people. Um, as well as like, you know, take advantage. You know, if you meet people, exchange business cards, exchange Facebook stuff, you know, uh, um, telephone numbers, and start getting that process, building your social circle and making connections, making relationships here in Japan. It's a great way to get set up. Um, yeah, besides that, I mean, there's so many networking events happening in Tokyo all the time. If you go on gaijinpot.com or Metropolis, there's always, always events going on, which are great places to meet new people, especially networking events. I mean, obviously people are there to meet people. It's a very easy way to go. Um, some other ways, I think that's pretty much everything I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, please email me message me, make a comment below, uh, and I'll try to answer any other comments or, or make an additional blog to add on to this one. I, I hope this information helps. Please let me know if this helps. Uh, I hope this is making a good impact on your lives. And let me know if you come to to Tokyo. Please, feel free to message me. I'd be happy to you know answer any emails or meet up over coffee sometime. No worries. All right, guys. Have a great one. Cheers.